Hello, dear friends, my name is Dr. Igor Atabekov. I am a clinical oncologist practicing since 2010. You got your blood test and you see low lymphocyte there. Should you panic? What should you do? What are the causes? Let's figure it out. So, this is our blood test. You can see leukocytes in general here. You can see neutrophils, you can see lymphocytes. These are absolute counts. And these are relative, like percentage, a relation between these different types of leukocytes. If we have only a decreased or increased percentage, that means it's relative lymphopenia or lymphocytosis. But if uh, there is absolute uh, increase or decrease, then we will uh, talk about the absolute, uh, absolutely low or high lymphocytes. In some labs, they don't count absolute lymphocyte count for you. That's why you need to take WBC, white blood cells, multiply by percentage of lymphocytes here, and divide it by 100. And you will get this number. You will compare it to normal values. And you must compare it to normal values of your lab. There are different types of lymphocytes, T lymphocytes, B lymphocyte natural killers, and T lymphocytes are divided into CD4+, CD8+, or T killers, and they all must have a normal relationship to each other. Sometimes this relationship may be uh, distur disturbed. Sometimes relationship is normal, but general lymphocytes are increased or decreased. A lymphocyte production maturation uh, and uh, training occurs in uh, our immune organs. These are tonsils, lymph nodes, uh, thymus, uh, spleen, uh, of course bone marrow and uh, different uh, lymph uh, tissues of our guts. And here you can see the probable causes of uh, low lymphocytes. It can be HIV. By the way, some people write, oh, there is no HIV, not, no viruses are uh, detected. Have you ever seen virus? Of course, we've seen viruses. Please watch this video. This red one is CD4 cell, it's immune cell, and uh, HIV loves to infect these cells, and they won't be functioning anymore and they will die. This green is the um, HIV-containing cell. Green are HIV particles that are marked with special fluorescent dye, so it will be green in color. And now, watch this video, how these uh, HIV particles will go into the uninfected cell and infect it. This is how HIV kills our immune system. So, next, COVID-19. SARS-CoV-19, uh, CORV-2, is uh, also the infection that causes low lymphocytes. Some other viruses like influenza, some measles, hepatitis, by the way, they also can cause high lymphocytes. Then, bacterial infections like tuberculosis, typhoid fever, brucellosis, fungi, and parasites also can cause low or high lymphocytes. And by the way, these are very common causes of high lymphocytes, uh, of low lymphocytes, sorry. Next, systemic uh, diseases, when there is some inflammation or autoimmune component, when immunity is uh, hitting own um, organs. Uh, here you can see sarcoidosis, or kidney failure, you can see different autoimmune conditions, like rheumatoid arthritis, like um, lupus, like uh, Chagrin's disease, different tumors or lymphomas, uh, plastic anemia, for example, when bone marrow is not functioning well and it's not producing enough uh, blood cells. Usually not only lymphocytes will be low. Then hereditary immunodeficiency conditions. Uh, when um, the immunity is low by genes and uh, these people will often have uh, recurrent infections. Also, we must watch for uh, different uh, serious inflammatory conditions in the body, like, for example, uh, the in serious inflammation in the guts, like uh, Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. And other causes are medications. Very serious and very um, highly probable cause of uh, low lymphocytes. For example, some meds like prednisone, dexamethasone, rituximab, also. Chemotherapy drugs will cause low lymphocytes. Radiation therapy also. Next, zinc deficiency, alcohol abuse, uh, problems with uh, thoracic duct. It's a big lymphatic duct. Then uh, malabsorption, for example, you cannot 
absorb protein, uh, you don't uh, eat well, maybe it's uh, already there. Elderly uh, person who doesn't uh, um, pay a lot of attention to his diet or doesn't have enough uh, money for, the, uh, for eating properly. Uh, or maybe you have uh, gut problems when you're losing protein that all can cause uh, low lymphocytes. Next, stress, exercise, trauma. And also it can be mm, of unknown cause. Anyway, you must always go to the doctor to uh, talk to him. He will ask you. Maybe he will find some of the reasons that I talked about. Maybe infection, maybe uh, autoimmune condition, maybe joint problems, some inflammation, kidney failure. Also, very important to do HIV test. It's not so difficult. Also, bring previous test results to see if you are lymphocytes are low for a long time or not. It hasn't been observed previously. And you, uh, the doctor, if he found, for example, uh, the problem with uh, auto the autoimmune condition, he will send you to rheumatologist or other doctors if uh, he feels it's needed to treat your main condition. Then your leukocytes will improve. Or sometimes we need uh, deeper investigations like immunophenotyping, uh, to see what type of lymphocytes is decreased, what is lacking, or antibody levels to see if uh, there are enough B cells who, which will produce antibodies. And treatment is uh, depends on the reason. In most cases, it's not needed. In 19 from 20 patients, lymphocytopenia will resolve. But maybe they will find some cause in you, so you will need to treat this condition, or uh, sometimes immunoglobulin replacement may be needed. These are already prepared antibodies that will be injected to someone who has no, not enough immunity. Or uh, even uh, transplantation of bone marrow, uh, especially it's uh, important for those who, for example, have uh, hereditary immunodeficiency. Dear friends, once again, no need to panic, this uh, condition, this finding of low lymphocytes is uh, quite common and in most cases the reason is not serious and uh, it will resolve with time. But anyway, you need to pay attention to any finding and always consult your medical professional. I wish you good health, good luck, God bless you.